Hey guys, welcome to Freak Motion. Today I will show you an awesome technique of morphing inside of After Effects. Thanks to Motion School, I learned that from there, and I thought I should share that with all of you. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. First, create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Before moving forward to the video, hitting the red subscribe button will be awesome. Also, hit the bell icon for all the latest updates. Alright, let's bring the object. I have illustrator file, so I am using that. But you can use any other object for that. Adjust the size. Let's type a letter for now. Adjust the size according to you need. Alright, so we are going to morph this object into the letter. First we need to create a path for the object to the letter P. Select the object and press P to open position. Then add a keyframe on the first frame, then go forward to 20 frames, and add change the position something like this. Then go forward to 20 frames more, and change its position something like this. Let's smooth the path a little bit. Just like this. So our object will move following this path. Select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor. Make sure you are in edit speed graph. First double click on this middle point, and check this box. Then change the graph something like this. Play. Object movement looks too slow when it's on top. If we select the middle point, and push it little bit up, I think it should be fine. Nice. So fast start, slow on the top, and then again fast drop. By changing the height of this middle keyframe, you can change the stop duration on the top. You can make it bit faster in the starting. The more time you put, the better outcome you'll get. Let's add some rotation on this. Press R to open rotation. On the first frame, add a keyframe on rotation, then go to the end frames, and change the rotation value to 1. At the end, the rotation looks a little bit odd. You can fix it manually by by changing the rotation value here. Also adjust the end position if needed. Now this looks fine to me. Select all the rotation keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Now let's add scale property on it. On 10 frames, add a keyframe on scale, then come back to first frame, and change its value to 0. So the object should appear something like this. Easy ease these keyframes also. Now select the object layer, and trim this layer after the last keyframe by pressing Alt plus closing bracket. Also trim the text layer to this position. So when pen comes to the letter, it will switch with the letter P. Adjust the layers like this. Now it looks bad because there is no movement on the letter P. Select the text layer, and press S to open scale. First unlink the size property. Now after 1 to 2 frame, add a keyframe on scale, then come back to first frame and change the scale value something like this. Little bit short, and wide. So it seems like bounce back. To make it more natural, we are going to add an expression here. For that, hold Alt plus click on this stopwatch icon. And just copy and paste this expression. 
It's an expression for elastic effect. Now play this. Perfect. Place the keyframes a little bit forward, just like this. If you want to add text animation with that, you can check out my other text animation videos. You can use this technique for morphing any object into shape or letter. Try to experiment with that. So this is all for today. I hope this information will help you from your next projects. Thanks for watching, see you guys in the next week. Till then have fun, and stay safe.